Along the coastal shores of Kenya, Lamu is well known for its diversity in cultures and importance as a trading hub. But what you might not know is that most of Kenya's luscious mangrove forests are also found here in Lamu County. Around 37,000 hectares of this carbon-rich ecosystem remains along its shores, brimming with wildlife, protecting the land and its people. And while pressure on Lamu's mangroves continue to rise, coastal communities remain the key to managing and conserving these precious natural resources. The mangroves in the region and the lives of coastal communities are closely intertwined. So uh, mangroves of uh, Lamu account for the biggest percentage in Kenya, that is 61%, and it's the main source of livelihood. Lamu community are very dependent on mangroves because they get fish, which is their main source of income. They also get poles for constructing their houses. Most houses in Lamu are constructed using poles. They really depend on the ecosystem for all these resources and for their livelihoods. Chinalangu ni Ali Ahmed. Ni mbuve kutoka matondoni. Huwa nabuwa samaki kwa wakati wa samaki. Ikifika wakati wa mbuwa huwa ni wakati wa kamba. Huwa tunabuwa kamba. E, samaki na mikoko kuna usiano mkubwa hapo katikati. Tayari ni chakula chao na ni nyumba yao tayari wa anajificha pale chini. Almost hapa matondoni karibu nyumba zote pana wavuve hapo ndani wanaotege miabari. But with around 60% of Kenya's mangrove forests, it's the communities themselves that are changing their relationship with their mangroves, including women groups in Matondoni. Sisi jamii hapa kwetu Matondoni, mikoko ina manufaa mingi sana. Kwanza sisi watu napika kutumia kuni, hizo kuni watu natoa kwa mikoko. Kuna mikoko ambayo ziko na mbegu, midawa, Mikoko ikiwa iko mingi haikukatwa katwa samaki wanapatikana kwa ungi. Tulipojua hizi faida za mikoko kwa nyingine ni dawa kuhifadhi samaki na kila kitu tukaamua tuweke mradi huu wa mikoko. And while planting may seem like the right thing to do, mangrove restoration efforts need rethinking. Groups like Wetlands International and the Mangrove Action Project are working closely with local stakeholders to increase their knowledge so that restoration efforts and success rates improve. Are we restoring the right places, the right species, the right timing? So that's why we are here to educate the community and other stakeholders who involve the NGOs and government organizations on how to properly do mangrove restoration and conservation. So by gaining ecological and technical understanding in the classroom and applying and testing these out in the field, groups across Lamu are learning successful techniques in mangrove conservation and restoration so that they can secure a brighter future for themselves and the future of mangroves in their region.